Welcome to how the new update might end up affecting driver rating. Y'all sort of already hear my tone for this. This is probably going to be the most negative of the update stuff. I discussed this briefly in the previous video, but I think this deserves a whole video of its own to sort of analyze it better. To begin with, like I said in the last video, it does add realism. That's good for the good drivers. I'm good in the fact of like a time trial or something, but in a race, I've very rarely ever raced with tire wear and fuel consumption, and I don't think I've ever really raced with damage other than GT Planet karting series, and those are karts, so that pretty much just meant no hitting anything whatsoever, which that was easy enough to remember for a kart because there was no in between. If you barely tap something, your race is over because it's kart. In this, you're racing with actual cars to where one hit ain't going to take you completely out of a race, but it is going to have an effect. So for every car, you're going to have to know different effects and then know how much you can get away with and all that. But, I mean, I don't know. So, this is sort of a negative in general for other people having to deal with people like me. Is I can be fast in qualifying, and I'm still going to try to be fast in qualifying. I'm not just going to go as slow as I think I'm going to end up being in a race in qualifying just because I ain't really all that good with tire, tire conservation and stuff. But the people who are around me who actually know what they're doing and have actually raced cars, so quite a lot of them have. GTR has, IOF has, and a whole heck of a heap of others, I'm sure, too. And... I haven't, so, <laughs> yeah, the driver rating system is going to have a big effect of who's going to end up at what letter by the time a few more weeks pass. I'm recording this Saturday before I go into racing, so I've only raced one night, like Friday, Friday night, right, when the, the update came out, and I went from about, like, here... To here in one night which granted the first race I didn't know what was going on whatsoever like I said in the previous video so it was just guess and hope because I didn't even really know what to guess at that point I figured there was damage and I figured there was tire wear but I had no idea how much I had no idea what I could get away with and it was group three cars anyway which I'm not all that good at so, also, another effect of driver rating is this is probably going to make some people not actually play anymore. Because they didn't have this in the beginning, and so few people are actually used to it. This is probably going to make some people back away. But that actually ain't a bad thing in terms of maybe the people who back away will actually help the people who stay in general. Because there be less people not knowing what they're doing. But it is going to make the numbers even lower than they are, and the numbers have started to drop noticeably. The numbers will probably actually be higher right after the update, just because a lot of people are going to see how this stuff works and see if they do like it or not. But I think the general consensus is going to be a lot of people aren't actually going to like it. I think the consensus will be, as I said in the last video, it'll be more realistic, but the realism doesn't necessarily mean people would like it. A lot of people have said Gran Turismo isn't as simulator -y as a lot of other games, but yet a lot of people still play Gran Turismo, so... Eh. I mean, I've never played any of the other simulators, so I can't really say. I guess the closest other game I've played to simulator, I guess, would be NASCAR games. I mean, they simulate NASCAR well on certain settings, I guess. And as for the sportsmen separating... Everyone is going to go down here. That's almost a guarantee just because it does encourage you not making contact with anybody. But if anybody at all makes any contact with anybody, that's going to make all of the cars worse in general. And then if the cars are driving bad with the drivers being angry at each other, it's just not going to end well. I'm actually i'm at an s here and it's hard to say how much of an s i am because it doesn't show a bar which is annoying everything that has a rating should show some type of bar to see where you are in a rating but anyway that's not really the important part here the important part is after the first race on my live stream i actually went down to an a it didn't really affect who i raced with then because it was there was so few people on 
So I just ended up racing with the same people. And actually, the after the first race I did was all the N300s at Mill Springs, which is a good track with a good car. And I did fine there and went back to an S. And that's sort of another thing, too, with the driver rating system is this is going to make probably everyone's average finish go down. It, I guess it sort of kind of sounds like it can't be statistically possible for everyone's average finish to go down. But think of it in the sense of inconsistency. It might end up giving some people who don't win all that much more wins because some people might be better with tire conservation and stuff on the lower levels of rating like DC, stuff like that who just happen to be good with tire conservation and they get some wins. But with there be more wins spread out, there's probably going to be a whole lot more inconsistencies too for everybody getting used to it and everybody being around everyone getting used to it. So... The final verdict pretty much with this is it's going to completely change driver rating and sportsmanship rating. For the better or for the worse, we'll just have to see. But I'm going to go ahead and say this for now. I think for me in particular, it's going to be for the worse. Hopefully, I can keep an A driver rating. An S sportsmanship rating seems unlikely, but as I've said a lot, I honestly don't know how I have an S sportsmanship rating as it is. This is the style that I race. If somebody wrecks me, and it's obviously on purpose, I'm going to do my best to wreck them. Always have, always will. Probably even with damage. Maybe even more so with damage, because if somebody wrecks me and ruins my race, it's not like I'm going to be racing with anybody anyway, so I may as well try to wreck that driver. And then, ha- hey, if I wreck them hard enough, maybe us two can race to two wreck each other. At least then I would have competition. But anyway, that's that. If y'all want to see the previous video, haven't yet, where I talk about just everything in general, not specifically driver rating, sportsman separating, that'll be linked in the description. But yeah, that has been this video. And again, I'm recording this Saturday before I go into racing, so I don't really know how this is going to go, and it seems best to actually record it now, because it's more of a blank slate. And we'll just have to see how the future holds. And y'all have already seen the future live because I'm recording this before I do the live stream. So I guess y'all have that opinion too of how it ended up going. I'm going to hope well, but I'm going to predict not so much. But whatever, I'm sure there'll still be a fun ride along the ri- along the way. Until somebody rides my you-know-what into a wall. Which is almost a guarantee at some point or another, honestly. And that ain't worth a yeehaw, but I guess it is still a productive update in sense it makes the game more realistic, and that is what they're going for. So I guess in that sense, it is indeedy dandy worth a yeehaw. So, yeehaw!